Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, we are getting game two out of a three-game series between the Cubs and Brewers at Wrigley Field. This three-game series is opening the season. It's the second game of the season for both teams. Chris Sale is on the mound for the Cubs. The Cubs took a chance on him last year, uh, trading for him from the Red Sox as he was coming off of a major injury where he missed the entire 2020 season. Sale was very effective last year for the Cubs, going 10-7 in 161 innings pitched with a 3.28 ERA. And the Cubs are certainly hoping for more of the same here now this season in 2022. So, let's get this game underway. It is 53 degrees, a little bit warmer than yesterday, wind blowing in at 10 MPH. And Sale is on the mound facing Orlando Arcia to lead off the game. Right. And he gets strike three over the outside corner. That was a slider that just caught the black, and that is going to be out number one. Sale now faces Julio Urias, or excuse me, Luis Urias of the Brewers. He went one for four yesterday, and he is facing Sale with a one and one count. Here comes the pitch. Lined into right field, coming in fast is Harper, and he makes the catch for out number two. Sale now faces Yelich with two outs and nobody on. Two balls is the count, and Yelich grounds it sharply past the third baseman, Moncada, down into the left field corner. That's going to be extra bases. The Brewers' left fielder cruises into second with a double. So a two-out extra base hit gets the Brewers a base runner here in the top of the first inning. Kesson Haraya now is the batter. Two outs and one man on. Sale working with a 2-2 count. And there's a swing and a miss to end the inning. So the circle change gets a wave and a miss. And now Sale goes back to the dugout as the Cubs force the Brewers to strand a runner. We're going to the bottom of the first with no score. Seeger leading off for the Cubs against Brian Abreu in today's game. Abreu on the mound for the Brewers. Last year, he went 10 and 11 with a 3.78 ERA and 162 innings pitched. Two and two is the count. Seager waits. And he swings and misses for strike three. That is out number one. A fastball at 93. And he could not catch up with it. Nico Horner now the batter. One out, nobody on. 2-2 two -two pitch to Nico Horner. And he lines it right back at the pitcher. Abreu, I think more out of self-defense than anything else, put his glove up and made that play. So Bryce Harper now bats with two outs and nobody on. One and two is the count. Harper takes strike three at the knees. He thought that was low, but the catcher made it look good. So that is the third out of the inning. We're going now to the top of the second, 0-0 here at Wrigley Field. Jorge Soler now steps up to the plate against Chris Sale. Soler accounted for the only Brewer run in yesterday's game with a solo shot. Sale working, one and one is the count. And Soler drives that one to left. This is not going to leave the stadium, but it will get him a single. Oh, and it gets by Santana. I think that's going to be an error out in left field. So it's going to be a single. The error allows Soler to get to second. And now the Brewers have the leadoff man in scoring position with nobody out. Hummel faces Sale here in the top of the second inning. One and two is the count. Grounder past the third baseman into left field. Soler rounds third. He is going to come home to score. Santana's throw goes to second, but it is not in time. And the Brewers take the 1-0 lead here in the top of the second inning. That is going to be an RBI double for Chris Hummel. And the Brewers score the first run of the ball game. George Springer now the batter with a runner on second, nobody out. 3-1 and one is the count. It is low for ball four. So Sale issues the walk, putting first and second with nobody out. Devin Marrero now bats. Still nobody out in this inning. Here's a one-strike pitch. Driven high in the air to deep left field. That one is going to leave the ballpark. The Brewers striking early here take the... 4-0 lead in the top of the second inning. That is a three-run home run for Devin Marrero. It traveled 387 feet. And the Brewers have jumped all over Chris Sale here in the top of the second inning. There's still nobody out, and Brian Abreu 
comes to the plate to bat for the Brewers. Let's see if Sale can get back on track here. One and two is the count. And a swing and a miss for strike three. So Sale gets him to swing and miss for the first out of the inning. Orlando Arcia now the batter, top of the second. 2-2 two -two count, one out. And Arcia grounds to short. Picked up and thrown across the diamond, and that is out number two. Urias now batting, two outs, nobody on. Sale working. Here comes the pitch. Lined up the middle. Oh, and a diving play by Nico Horner. That looked like it was headed for center field, and Horner makes the play to end the inning. So the Brewers score four times. They take the lead 4-0 into the bottom of the second inning. Yoan Moncada now the batter, leading off the Cubs in the bottom of the second. They're in a hole they got to dig out of now. Down by four, looking for some runs. Moncada drives it high in the air to deep right field. I think he's going to run out of room. That's right. The Cubs have just cut into the Brewers' lead. It is now a 4-1 ball game. 389 feet into the right field stands. So the Cubs get on the board, answering the Brewers here in the bottom of the second. Rizzo now the batter. Abreu working. Here comes the pitch. Rizzo grounds it toward the shortstop, who's playing on the wrong side of second base, but he makes the play, throws it over to first to retire Rizzo for the first out of the inning. Santana now batting. He's got a error to atone for. He went two for five yesterday. Let's see what he can do today. One and two is the count. Strike three. And it is strike three called. So that is the second out of the inning. He struck out looking at a slider. Austin Hedges now the batter. Two outs and nobody on. Two and two is the pitch. Popped up down the right field line. Is that going to drop in for a base hit? The right fielder gets there and the inning is over. So the Cubs do score making the Brewers lead 4-1 to one here going into the top of the third inning. Christian Yelich now the batter. Sale working. Trying to recover from that tough second inning. Let's see how he does here in the third. One and one count. Here's the pitch to Yelich. Driven in the air. Center field going back. Trent Grisham looks like he's going to have room on the warning track and he makes the catch for out number one. A well-hit ball off the back of Yelich, but to the deepest part of the ballpark. And now Hyura is the batter with one out and nobody on. Hyura waits for the pitch. There's a pop-up to right center. Trent Grisham again has a line on it, and he makes the catch for out number two. Soler now bats with two outs and nobody on. Sale with a 1-1 pitch. And there's a pop-up to center. Coming in fast is Grisham. He makes the running catch and squeezes it for the third out of the inning. So Sale works a perfect third. We're going to the bottom of the third with the Cubs down by three. Sale now leading off for the Cubs against Abreu in the bottom of the third inning. Full count. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss for strike three. So that is the first out of the inning as Sale takes his seat back on the bench. Next up is Trent Grisham with one out and nobody on. Two and two is the pitch. And he hits it high in the air to center field. This is going to be playable. The center fielder takes a few steps back in and makes the catch for out number two. Corey Seager now batting with two outs and nobody on. Abreu working with a 2-2 pitch. Here comes the delivery. Strike three. Checked his swing. Strike three is called. So three up and three down for the Cubs as we go to the top of the fourth with the Brewers up four to one. Sale now faces Hummel here in the top of the fourth inning. Full count. Sale looking for the sign. Here's the delivery. Hit in the air. Center field. Grisham looks like he has a line on it. He adjusts toward left center to make the catch for out number one. Next up is George Springer with one out and nobody on. Springer faces Sale. Here comes the delivery. Lined into the gap in left center field. That is going to go all the way to the wall. It looks to me like Springer is going to have a double here. I believe that's his second of the ball game. And now the Brewers have a runner on second with one out in the top of the fourth inning. Marrero now the batter. One out, one man on. Sale working to Devin Marrero. One and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Lined into center field again. There's another base hit. Coming around third to score is going to... Oh, no, George Springer stops at third. I thought for sure he was going to try to score on that play, but he held up. And now we see that Sale is in a bit of a jam here. First and third, only one out. 
and the pitcher Abreu comes up to the plate. I guess if you're going to get out of the inning, this is your best shot. Hopefully Sale can induce a ground ball and get out of this inning. Let's see what happens. First pitch, grounded towards second. The throw goes to short. The relay to first. There's a 4-6-3 double play. Sale manages to escape the inning unscathed despite putting two runners on. The Brewers do not score. We're going to the bottom of the fourth of a 4-1 Milwaukee lead. Abreu now faces Nico Horner leading off to the Cubs in the bottom of the fourth inning. Horner needs to get something going here. Let's see what he can do. Grounds it towards second. His counterpart picks it up, throwing it over to first, and that is out number one. Bryce Harper now the batter. One out, nobody on. Full count pitch to Bryce Harper. And line down the right field line. That is going to be a base hit. So Harper with the one out single as Soler cuts it off before it gets into the corner. And now the Cubs have a runner on with one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Yohan Moncada is the next batter. One out, one man on. Two and two is the count. Moncada grounds it towards second. Oh, and the second baseman biffs it. Everybody's going to be safe. The Cubs get a gift here in the bottom of the fourth inning. That looked like an inning-ending double play, and it turns into everybody is safe. There's one out now with runners on first and second. Anthony Rizzo coming to the plate. And now Abreu facing Rizzo as the potential tying run here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Two strikes is the count, and Rizzo watches strike three go by on the outside corner. Abreu now has six strikeouts in the game. Next up is Danny Santana with two outs and runners still on first and second. Santana, switch hitter, batting from the left side against the righty Abreu. Here's the two and one count and the pitch, and he grounds it toward short. Santana hustling down the line, and everybody's gonna be safe. So Danny Santana, manages to get on base with an infield single. The bases are loaded. Austin Hedges is coming up to the plate. And so now we're going to start making some decisions here. First off, out of the bullpen, who is coming up for the Brewers in the next half of A bunch of righties and Christian Dutch. So we are going to warm up. Liam Hendricks out of the bullpen. Secondly, Abreu is a right. So we are going to we are going to pinch hit with Miguel Amaya because although he is a also a righty, he is considerably better hitter. And we're just going to trade offense for defense here and see if we can get a base hit. Amaya will stay in the game to catch. And Amaya is going to pinch hit against Abreu with two outs and the bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth inning. Abreu working to Amaya. 2-2 two -two count. A swing and a miss, and the inning is over. So the Cubs strand the bases loaded. We're going to the top of the fifth now. It's a four to one ball game. So since we did not get to Sales' position in the lineup, he is going to be allowed to pitch the top of the fifth. Ah, but we're going to have, we have Liam Hendricks on standby. He's actually warmed up and ready to go. Arcia leading off for the Brewers in the top of the fifth inning. Here comes the first pitch. A grounder toward the first baseman. Rizzo has it. He steps on the base, and that is out number one. Urias now batting. One out, nobody on. Full count to Julio Urias. Here comes the pitch. Grounded towards second. Horner has it. He flips to first, and that is out number two. Next up is Christian Yelich with two outs and nobody on. Yelich, one for two today, facing Sale. Three and one is the count. And there's a liner in the gap in left center field. That's going to be another base hit. Yelich rounding first. Is he heading for second? Yes, he is. The throw goes to the cutoff man. And Yelich has a two-out double here in the top of the fifth inning. So Sale now faces Uriah. We better make sure that uh, Mr. Hendricks is warmed up and ready to go. So what are we going to do here? He is, actually, Hendricks is still warmed up and ready. Pariah is coming up. He is over 2 today. 
sail is at 70 pitches. So now, with two outs and the runner on second, sail is due to lead off the next half inning. I really feel like we probably just need to let him try to finish this inning. But if he doesn't get Pariah out, I will probably bring in Hendricks to face Soler. So, here comes the pitch. Lined into left field. There's another base hit. The runner rounds third. He's heading home. The throw comes home. And Yelich is going to score, making it a 5-1 to ball game here in the top of the fifth inning. And now, that brings up Jorge Soler. And that is going to be the end of the game for Mr. Sale. We're going to bring in Liam Hendricks, who will be, how are we gonna do this? Because I'd like Hendricks to face more than one batter. So, Hendricks is gonna come in, and he is going, let's see here. Danny Santana, Clint Frazier. Yeah, Clint Frazier is gonna be the answer. So here's what we're going to do. Hendricks is going to come in. He is going to go into the number six spot and pitch. And Clint Frazier will come in. And he's going to lead off in the next half inning and play left. So the double switch happens. Liam Hendricks comes out of the bullpen to make his first appearance of the year. And he's going to face Jorge Soler with a runner on first two outs in the top of the fifth inning. Hendricks, working with a full count, here comes the payoff pitch. It is high for ball four. So Hendricks issues the walk. Soler, Soler heads down to first, and next up is Hummel. With two outs and two men on, Hummel, the switch hitter, batting from the left side against the righty Hendricks. Here comes the next pitch from Liam Hendricks, and that is driven high in the air to deep right field. That is gonna be gone. Liam Hendricks gives up the home run. And now it is an eight to one ball game. The Brewers have scored four more times here in the top of the fifth inning. 389 feet for Cooper Hummel. And the Brewers have doubled their score. So the, they now lead by seven as George Springer comes up to the plate with two outs and nobody on. Hendricks working against Springer. Here comes the pitch. Popped up to center field. That hopefully will end the inning. Grisham lines it up and he makes the catch and that is out number three. So after giving up four runs, the Cubs come up to the top of the bottom of the fifth inning now down by seven. Clint Frazier leading off against Brian Abreu. If the Cubs are gonna start a rally, it better start here. Full count pitch, here it comes. That is inside for ball four. So Frazier draws the leadoff walk and that'll bring up Trent Grisham. With a runner on first, nobody out. Is Frazier in any way fast? I mean, not really. So let's see here. Abreu's going to face Grisham with a runner on first, nobody out. 2-2 two -two is the count. And there's a drive into left field. Yelich goes back to the warning track. He's going to run out of room. A two-run home run for Trent Grisham. 385 feet out onto the street behind the left field stands. And now the Cubs have made this an 8-3 ball game. So the rally may be starting here. Corey Seager is the next batter. Nobody out, nobody on. Two runs already in. Here comes a 3-0 pitch. And he checks his swing. That's ball four. Second walk of the inning issued. And now they're going to bring in Tyler Chatwood. So that's interesting because, you know, if your problem is walking people, Tyler Chatwood is an obvious answer to that. Who are we going to, we need to um, actually warm up a different reliever for the next half inning. We're going to warm up Junior Fernandez because Hendricks really wasn't getting it done last half inning. So Nico Horner faces Tyler Chatwood with a runner on first, nobody out. Chatwood with a two and one pitch. Here comes the delivery. Grounded toward third. The throw goes to second. The relay to first. That is a 5-4-3 double play. So the Cubs ground into double play. It's now two outs and nobody on. Down, still down by five. Bryce Harper comes up to the plate. Chatwood faces Harper with one ball count. Here comes the delivery. There's a grounder toward second. The throw goes to first and the inning is over. So the Cubs score twice. 
They cut into the Brewers' lead once again. It is a five-run deficit for the Cubs going into the top of the sixth inning. And now Junior Fernandez is ready. We're going to go ahead and bring him in. Fernandez is going to pitch the sixth inning for the Cubs. He's going to face Devin Marrero, the pitcher's spot, and then the top of the order in the top of the sixth inning. One strike is the count. Junior Fernandez makes the pitch. There's a grounder up the middle. Horner has it. He throws to first, and that is out number one. Dietrich now the batter with one out, nobody on. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher spot. And here comes the delivery. Popped up to center field. Grisham has a line on it. He makes the catch. That is out number two. And now Orlando Arcia comes to the plate. He is one for seven on the season so far. 0 for three today. Junior Fernandez working. Here comes the delivery. And a liner into right. That's going to be caught as Nico Horner goes out into the grass in short right field to make that play and end the inning. We're going to the bottom of the sixth, and the Cubs are down, still down by five. Johan Moncada is going to lead off against J.P. Frierson here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Moncada has a home run. He's one for two today. And here's a full count delivery. That is outside for ball four. So the Cubs are issued another walk and they really need to start trying to capitalize on all these free passes. Anthony Rizzo now the batter with a runner on first, nobody out. We need to warm somebody up for Junior Fernandez because this is going to be the situation actually where we're going to bring in Tariq Skubal. Yes. Oops. I did not actually warm him up. There we go, warm up. Scubal is going to come in because we're going to pinch hit for Junior Fernandez when his spot comes up next. Rizzo at the plate, runner on first, nobody out. One and two is the count. And Rizzo drives it in the air to center field, going back. The center fielder is going to play it on a hop. It goes one hop to the wall. Rizzo with a double. And the Cubs are in business now. Runners on second and third with nobody out. And now Junior Fernandez is going to be pinch hit for. And the pinch hitter is going to be, let's see here, the pinch hitter is going to be Thyro Estrada. Estrada performed well last year, <clears throat> filling in for various injured players. He hit 11 home runs, hit 254 with a 314 OBP. And he is going to or excuse me, last year he hit seven home runs, 28 RBIs, 270 average, and a 334 OBP. That was his career numbers I was giving him. So Estrada, uh, definitely a very productive role player last year, facing Frierson with two men on, nobody out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Estrada with a two-and-one count, and he drives it in the air to right. That is going to be deep enough. It will drive in the run. The right fielder, Soler, has it. The runners tag up in advance. The run is going to score. Rizzo tags up and advances to third. It's now an 8-4 to four ball game. So good piece of hitting there by Estrada to get the ball into the outfield and drive in that run. There's now one out. Runner on third. Bottom of the sixth inning. Miguel Amaya comes up to the plate to face J.P. Frierson. One strike is the count, and Amaya drives it in the air to left. Is that going to be deep enough? I don't think so. The left fielder's coming in. The runner holds at third as Rizzo is not exactly the fastest guy on the team. And he is going to hold at third as the second out of the inning is recorded. Clint Frazier now the batter with two outs and the runner still on third. Bottom of the sixth inning. Frierson with a two-strike count, and Frazier swings and misses, and that is the inning is over. The Cubs do score. We're going to the top of the seventh. It's now an eight to four ball game. And Tariq Skubal is going to come into this. Let's see here. Estrada, well, he plays left and right bat. I don't think that that's really an answer. So Skubal is going to come over here. He is going to pitch. And now he will be facing Uriah, Yelich, and Hira here in the top of the seventh inning. Skubal comes out of the bullpen, having thrown 113 innings last season, 6-2 record, 
3.42 ERA. Scoop all with a one and two count. Looking for the sign, here's the delivery. Rounded up the middle, shortstop Seeger has it. He throws to first, that is out number one. Yelich now the batter, one out, nobody on. Three ball count, scoop all with the delivery. And he hits him in the leg, that is gonna put him on first. I don't know why you bother with that. I mean, it was ball four, I guess. So whatever, but higher is the next batter. One out, one man on. Scoop ball. Now facing higher here in the top of the seventh inning. Trying to hold this at a four-run deficit. One and two is the count. And strike three is called at the knees. So Scoop ball gets a fastball across at 98. And the batter higher is frozen for out number two. Solaire now batting. Two outs and the runner on first. Two and two is the count, and that is strike three called on a fastball down the middle. So, the Brewers strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the bottom of the seventh inning of an eight to four ball game. And today, to lead the seventh inning stretch, we have Ryan Sandberg here in the booth with us. Trent Grisham is gonna lead off against Usmero Petit here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Petit is making his first appearance of the season, and he is going to face Grisham and then the top of the Cubs lineup in the bottom of the seventh inning. One and two is the count. Grisham stands in waiting for the pitch. And that is driven in the air to center. This is not going to leave the ballpark as the center fielder Springer makes the catch. That is out number one. Seeger now the batter. One out, nobody on. Two strikes is the count. Corey Seager standing in, waiting for the pitch. Oh, and he's hit by a pitch. Some back and forth between these two bullpens as batters are hit on both teams, and Seager heads down to first. So, Nico Horner is the next batter. One out, one man on. Corey Seager standing on first base. Horner waiting for the full count delivery. And that is driven in the air to right center field. Springer is going to have a line on it. He calls for it and makes the catch for out number two. Seeger holding it first. And that brings up Bryce Harper with two outs and one man on. Harper will face the lefty, Sean Doolittle, who comes out of the Brewers' bullpen. Doolittle uh, gave up two earned runs while only pitching an inning and a third yesterday. Doolittle will face Harper with two outs and one man on here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Two and two is the count. Harper swings and misses, and that is strike three. So the Cubs strand a runner. They do not score. We're going to the top of the eighth of an eight to four ball game. Scubal coming out for inning of work number two. He is going to face the six, seven, and eight batters in the Brewers lineup in the top of the eighth inning. Scubal with a full count, working to Hummel. Here comes the pitch. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. That is a fastball at 99 and Hummel could not catch up with it. That was out number one. Springer now the batter, one out, nobody on. Scooball working. Here comes the pitch. Popped up, foul territory. First base side, Rizzo has it. That is out number two. And now Marrero's the batter with two outs and nobody on. Marrero faces Scooball. One and two is the count. And that is strike three called, and the inning is over. Four strikeouts in two innings for Scooball. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. It is an eight to four ball game. So now Scooball is due up third in this half inning. We're going to warm up another reliever. And we are going to warm up, well, I don't really want to use any of my top three, but if, you know, if we end up coming back and actually potentially tying this ball game, we might want one of them out here. So, let's warm up Dylan Cease, assuming that we're not going to want a setup man here in the top of the ninth inning. But that could change quickly. Let's see what happens. Moncada now leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the eighth inning. He is one for two with a home run in today's ball game. Seven for five on the season. Very hot start to the season for Yohan Moncada. Do a little working with a one strike count. Here is the pitch. And Moncada hits it in the air, deep to left field, going back, going back, it is gone! Yohan Moncada makes this an eight to five ball game in the bottom of the eighth inning. And now, the Cubs are only down by three. 369 feet into the left field bleachers. 
and the Cubs continue to fight back and rally in this ball game. Anthony Rizzo now the batter. One run already in. Rizzo facing Doolittle with a one ball count. Here comes the pitch. And he hits it high in the air to deep right field. I think Soler is going to be on the warning track and make the catch. So that is out number one. Rizzo certainly gave it a ride, but it was not quite deep enough. So Scooball now is going to be pinch hit for. And what we're going to see is that against the lefty Doolittle, we're going to set up the righty Julio Rodriguez to pinch hit here in the bottom of the eighth inning. With one out and nobody on. And one run already in. Julio Rodriguez is going to face Sean Doolittle here in the bottom of the eighth. Two and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Grounded toward first. The first baseman has it. Hiera steps on the bag. That is out number two. Next up is Miguel Amaya with two outs and nobody on. Doolittle faces Amaya with a one and one count. Here comes the delivery. Popped up. Third base side. The catcher calls for it. He's called off by the third baseman. And Marrero makes the catch to end the inning. We're going to the top of the ninth. The Cubs are down by three. So now we're going to get Dylan Cease into the lineup. He is going to pitch in the top of the ninth inning. We are also, you know, if this were to actually get out of hand, if, the, if Cease is not able to work an effective inning, I probably will bring in a setup man to try to close out the inning. Cease comes in making his first appearance of the season. He is going to work against Tristan Cassis, who is pinch hitting from the left side against the righty Cease to lead off the top of the ninth inning. Cease working with one ball count. He's looking for the sign. Here's the delivery. Grounded back up the middle. Pitcher has it. He throws to first, and the throw is late. Wow. I don't know how Tristan Cassis beat that out, but he has an infield single to lead off the top of the ninth inning. Orlando Arcia now the batter. Runner on first. And nobody is out. Here's a full count delivery. Grounded up the middle. Shortstop has it. Oh, no, it gets into center field. It must have just gotten under his glove. The throw goes to third. Man, some tough luck here for the Cubs in the top of the ninth inning. There's now runners on first and third with nobody out. 